G'day, how you doing? This is Ian Annapolis, your acrylic guru here from Australia. And yesterday when I did my tutorial video, I showed you that I bought a roll of canvas, good quality canvas. Well today after work, I've gone and purchased the board. I've got two sheets here. They're 2400 by 1200, so I can get 22 canvas panels out of each board. And that canvas will be enough to cover both of them. All right, so before I get too carried away, I want to grab my coffee, my cold coffee. Now, I've got a template. I'll just show you. That's the template. It's the back of a canvas pad book, but that's the template. I'm making these size. They're an A3 size. Half of this is your normal office page A4. And I've got myself some quick grip spray adhesive glue, you spray that on both surfaces and when it gets a bit tacky you push them down together and squidgy all the air out and it's happy days for everybody. So I'll show you how I'm going to make my canvases. I've done some in the earlier days on Facebook using alcinite as the backing and I was putting too much sauce in little spaghetti back then but I've got it down pat. So I don't have any canvases for tutorials at the moment, so I thought I'll do a video and show you how I'm making my canvases. All right, so come on over here, we'll have a better look. Steve's out there waiting to come in. Steve, come on, you wanna come in, mate? Come on, it's a hot day outside, it's 39 degrees out there. Where I bought the board from, I asked the guys, can I grab some of this tin out of the bin? It can use as a flexible ruler. And I've gone and marked the width of my canvases here. I've just put some dots along this whiteboard here, just so I can get a reasonable line. And I'm going to use a knife cutter, not a knife cutter, a box cutter, just to cut. So I hope you can see that line there. I'll move that glue. Now I want to. I'm going to show you with this first one, but when I'm not filming, I'm going to cut it into strips and then cut these strips down into sections like this. So I'm just squaring this up and putting some end lines for the canvas size. It's going to take me longer than normal because I'm filming this for you subscribers, but I don't mind. I've got to give you something. What's the point of subscribing if you don't get any footage, eh? So I think I'm gonna get 22 out of each of these big boards. I hope so. Because that one's gotta go that way next. So I'm gonna cut the one, two, three, four, five. I'm getting five times four. So that gives me my 20. Yeah, five that way and one, two, three, four rows of five, which will give me my 20. Now I'm going to use this as a ruler to cut that, just with my box cutter. All right, I'll use this box cutter. I've got my thing there and I just wanna, I'm just touching lightly with this blade to score it into there. Cause if you press too heavy in the one go I've learnt, you can easily just come off line. So you, I, I like to keep it as straight as possible. And this tin is working perfect as a ruler. Come down here. And it's flexible as well to the surface that I'm cutting. Where do I get up to? scoring in and then I'll take the ruler away and this line that I've scored in I can follow like a train track Beauty, yeah. so now I can follow that line now the first bit that I scored and go a bit deeper I've got some more tin just to put underneath it 
because I'm cutting right through now. And just so as I don't cut into my bench, it's acting like a protection. And this is going to cut all the way through. This is like, I'll show you what this stuff is when I get a piece out. You know, we just carefully keep that straight. Not worried about scoring it deep. Boom. Now I can score it deep. It'll follow that like a train track. Now see inside there, it's printable paper on both sides, a good quality paper. It's just got this green plastic film, which is a protective plastic that peels off. And it's like a foam, very dense foam forming stuff in the middle. But it's lightweight and it's good quality. And why I use it is if I'm selling the paintings, they're lightweight because mail is governed by weight. So now I'm just going to cut these one, two, three, four, five off here. And then I'll, I could probably get out of that roll of canvas, I get three of those as I open the roll. So I'm spending a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort and a bit of money into all this. But at the end of the day, it's going to give me long legs and I'm not going to spend as much because a canvas this size in over here is it? It's over ten dollars. You probably get a cheap one for about seven or eight dollars. But if you're using a lot like I do, you want to try and keep the cost down. Now I'm going to cut these up that way. Okay, where's my knife? I should use a ruler. I've got a square here just to get the first line straight. One canvas panel ready to be sprayed and glued that canvas on top. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to glue one of these now just to show you how I do it. I've got to get this much off the roll for the three of them first. We'll get some got those stools there. Now I want to work here. I want to keep this as I'm cutting off this roll. My main objective is to keep the cut straight as well. So I'm going over just a bit. So I'll put a mark there. Now I'll get the about there. And they will be glued on there and trimmed off to size. I'm doing this outside in the shed because this has got some pretty heavy fumes about it. So I want to spray the panel and then the back of the canvas. Just look for any areas that are naked on a hot day like today this is going to get tacky real quick all right they are sprayed now i want that to go tacky okay that's ready what i'd like to do 
get the canvas there, hover this over where I want it. See, I want canvas hanging over, so I've got something to trim back, which is good there. And that, look at that, nice and beautiful. What I do is I turn it over, I get an applicator, and, oh my God, and I just quickly get to the edges and push all the air and creases out to the edge. That's why I want it overhang. So everything can come out when I trim it, it'll be a professional finish to the edge. Some of my early canvases are a bit rough, but it's all trial and error. And when you're doing them not as good as they should be, they can get bubbles underneath them and make for a poor quality canvas. But anyway, that's that is glued onto the there now and you can see it's very when that dries now I turn it upside down like that I grab my box cutting knife and I start to trim that to the edge there we have one canvas Good quality. Well, that's very hot in that shed out there. Well, I've trimmed one for you out there. I've got the other two glued on. I've got my tin there, and I'm just going to trim the excess off now. Right, there's another beautiful tin. But I prime them up before I use them again anyway. Okay, I hope you like this little video. I've made three for you on film today anyway, but I'm gonna use the rest of the day to cut all them up properly and get all the canvas cut out to size and glue them all on so I'll have a big pile of canvases ready to rock and roll and they're gonna be good quality ones as well. So don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click my little head in the bottom right hand corner there and you can subscribe and press the little bell to be sure you get notified when I'm upload a new video and check out the links in the description below for my Facebook page add me as a friend message me and tell me you met me on YouTube that way I know you're not a scammer and check out my link to my video list as well because there's over 180 videos there and not a lot of people know just how much um, variety of videos and different subjects that I do okay so make sure you're checking that as well and I will I have the next couple of days sorting this mess out and then I'll be back into tutorials, all right? If you like what I'm doing here, you tell your friends, but if you don't, tell everybody. All the best, goodbye, good luck, and good on ya!